Stoffel van Dorn now in the Mercedes EQ. One Mercedes has fallen short of pole position. Can van Dorn secure his second pole of the season after taking it in Rome? Well, he was actually qualified on pole in Valencia it as well. Looks good so far, Jack. It was looks... then disqualified. Yeah. Oh, yeah, wow. There you go. Oh, that looked strong through that first sector. And this is a camera Jack was talking about that keeps getting smashed off the side of the uh, the barriers at some of the tighter corners. So Van Dorn almost three tenths up in the first sector. I mean, it's, this looks strong. <laughs> it's just the car is rotating ever so well, putting the power down well. He's not having to wait. The car's not sliding out. There was a slight, a bit of oversteer, but so far so good. He's two and a half tenths up. What does the second split tell us? Oh, oh he's lost a bit of time. It's all bled away. Lost time in the middle sector, so now he's just five hundredths up on Oliver Rowland. Final sector coming now. And he can see that, he knows in the car that he's lost a lot of time and he's thinking, now he's going to take risk if he wants to keep that advantage or gain a little more because he knows the cars coming after him are not slow. Can Stoffel van Dorn move himself to provisional pole position? The Belgian. Quickest, four hundredths clear of Oliver Rowland. De Vries drops to third, Gunder drops to fourth, but Mercedes EQ on provisional pole position again. Stoffel van Dorn, pole position.